Hey guys, so I'm just literally back in LA. Uh, it is about 12.30 right now and I got back at 6 o'clock this morning. So I wasn't planning on like vlogging as soon as I got home, but I'm actually really proud of myself. So I wanted to share something with you. Um, I've spoke recently about um, my personality type um, and the Maya Briggs personality test. And my personality type, um, learning about that has kind of taught me a whole lot about myself and my patterns of behavior and the way I make decisions and stuff like that. So um, I will share more in depth on this later, but one of the things that I suck at, and it's my personality type, which I didn't realize, but it's just something that I didn't actually comprehend that it was an actual pattern as such until I started learning about my personality type. But I suck at like, just if there's like little bits and pieces of stuff that I need to do, I suck at, because I'm so focused on the big picture, I suck at like, so for example, I suck at unpacking. I usually would like leave suitcases there and not unpack a bit here and there, um, and it would end up kind of dragging on for like, you know, a few days or whatever after I got home, and I would just do bits and pieces. But, you know, sometimes my suitcase would still be out like a week later, and you know, because I just hadn't put it away yet. But I was like, no, um, I've been on holiday, I want to come back, I want to get into a really good routine, like dive into my business and lots of different stuff I want to do. So I was like, no, I'm going to just get home and unpack everything so it's completely done, done, and I can move on and get organized. Because it's been obviously three weeks I've been living out of suitcases, and I think that's made me appreciate how much I love having my like, established routine. Um, anyway, so I've literally come home, I've unpacked everything, I've put the suitcases away. I've got one load of washing done and in the dryer, which is just finished. I've got another load of washing on right now. I had a shower, washed my hair, exfoliated, cleaned the shower. So I literally just got home, unpacked the dishwasher. I literally just got home and did every single thing to do with unpacking and like cleaning the house. So I'm like ready to go. And it's only 12.30. I've been home for like four hours. I've done all of that. and. That is the type of thing I would usually like write something on my to-do list and it would hang over me for like a week uh, before I ended up doing it. So I literally came home and did all of that. As I was unpacking, I started a grocery list in my phone of the things that I had to get at the supermarket that I, who I might forget. Um, yeah, I've just literally done like this whirlwind of just unpacking and getting myself completely set up, um, you know, so that I can hit the ground running with work and get into my usual routine and stuff. So. If you are not um, into geeky stuff like that sort of personalities, that might not be so interesting for you, but um, I think it was interesting to me that how much better I feel. Like I, I usually carry around this like, almost like anxiety, because I'm like, oh, I've got to do that and that and that, but I'm going to do it later. Um, and now I'm just like, yes, like it's all done. I can just get, you know, get on with my normal life. So I'm about to go to the gym. Um, and I will go and do a grocery shop and a whole food shop. So because I've literally just got back and I've got a pretty empty fridge, um, that's probably a good time to take you guys, uh, or at least, you know, show you a bit of a haul of my first kind of shop, um, because I will need to get lots of stuff. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day in Cali. Can't really see out my windows because the light's too right. But yeah, it's a beautiful day in Cali. I am going to go to the gym now. Um, I slept probably only four hours on the plane. I just got, like, couldn't sleep because I was kind of on New Zealand time and I got back 6 a.m. LA time. So I really wanted to like get a decent sleep so I could kind of just get up and do today like a normal day. Um, so I didn't sleep as much as I want to, but I actually feel pretty good. So I'm going to get up and go to the gym right now. Um, I'll do weights and cardio. I've kind of, you know, I want to get back into a good routine with that. Um, and then I will go to the store, so I get myself a bit established for the rest of the week. Um, yeah, I will kind of get you guys to tag along as I am. Get you guys to tag along. That wasn't the words that were supposed to come out. I will probably get you guys to tag along on my adventures, um, or just kind of like show you, you know, a kind of what it's like for me just getting set up right now again after being away traveling. Um, I also have got some New Zealand like treats or like products that I brought back with me. A lot of stuff is like 
that you get it in America and you can't get it in New Zealand, so I would take it there with me. There's not a lot of things that I like in New Zealand that I'm like, oh, I need to take some of that back with me. Um, but there are a couple of things. So I put those aside when I was unpacking so that I can show you guys later. Um, but I'll probably do that after I do um, maybe a bit of a grocery haul. Anyway, I am going to get my butt out the door. As you can see, I'm really happy to be home and excited to get into um, routine. So yeah, back in LA, baby. Actually, I forgot. Um, now, my mirror is dirty, but this is a new Better Body set. So this is actually the same leggings, but I got them a size bigger because you can actually fold this over. Um, I'll probably take a selfie later, but it's a bit hard to show you right now, but I need to pull them up a bit so that I can fold it right over. Um, and you can see the Better Body's logo. Just got off a 12 hour flight, so I'm a bit of a, a water balloon. Um, and this is the really cool backed crop, um, which I also have in black. So, um, yeah, I've got a bunch of new Better Body stuff, but this is, so I already have um, these leggings in black, just a smaller size, so for the smaller size, um, they'll just pull straight up and I wouldn't be able to fold them over, is just the difference, which is why I got the small as well. So if you're a Better Bodies person, um, that's my little guidance on the leggings. They're so thick and like the seamless is really, really nice. Um, and my code, SJ20, I'm like showing you the camera. Uh, my code SJ20, so if you are shopping Better Bodies online, use my code SJ20 and that will get you 20% off. And uh, in my Instagram bio is a direct link to the online store and Better Bodies ships worldwide. So I'm going to the gym, got my old chucks on that I brought back from my mama's. Um, this is just a Victoria's Secret, this uh, mesh tank, which I like for just chucking over stuff. Guys, it feels so good, so, so good to be back driving my Range Rover after driving this shitty little Toyota rental car. For a week in Auckland oh my god <laughs> literally just got in my car before I turned the car on I gave myself a pep talk to remember to drive on the right hand side of the road um, and it just just feels normal so yeah we're off to a good start but it's such a beautiful day here and it's funny because I think I forgot how much I love California until I just got back today and yeah, it is a beautiful California day and summer is on its way so it's only going to get better. I am going to get into the gym. I'm not going to film anything in there today. Um, I will in, uh, in future be aiming to do one printable workout a week for my membership platform. So I will be filming at least one workout a week uh, and I know next Monday I am going to train with my client Alex. So we will definitely be filming then. Um, but today I'm going to stretch, I think I'll do just a light upper body workout and some cardio. Um, I don't want to do anything too crazy, but I'm just kind of going to ease into my normal routine, uh, you know, weights and cardio each day. I might start going in the mornings for faster cardio, uh, not because I need to do faster cardio, but because I just love getting up in the morning and doing it. Um, anyway, I will talk to you more about my routine um, as I get back into it and it's gonna be nice because I've been away for three weeks So I've been out of routine uh, But I'm looking forward to kind of having a fresh clean slate um, You know and making sure that it's kind of the best routine for me, you know I'm not just in a routine for the sake of being in a routine like I'm actually going to um, You know try and see how I'm most productive with my day um, And I think it's gonna be by getting up in the morning going to the gym for cardio and then kind of got the endorphins going and I'm kind of amped up for the day. Anyway, I will talk more about that as we go. I'm going to turn you guys off and get to goals and I will see you later. Alright guys, I am finished at the gym. Um, I ended up doing like legs and glutes, high reps uh, and then I did some core and then I did stairs while I could write a post. But it seems that today Instagram is down for some people and I'm one of them uh, and my post doesn't actually want to post so hopefully it will. 
Um, so I actually ended up in there for quite a long time because I also bumped into um, an old uh, acquaintance that I haven't seen in ages and got talking to them about some of my business plans, etc. So I ended up a long time at the gym. Um, I am going to go to Panini Cafe, which is my favourite, favourite dinner spot. It is uh, Mediterranean and I go there a whole lot, um, but obviously I haven't been for a few weeks because I've been away. Um, so I'm going to go there and grab um, dinner. I'll give you a sneak peek. That is my favourite, favourite Turkish. Uh, and then I will go to Whole Foods because there's a Whole Foods right near there. So I am at my favourite spot. Panini World Grill. Um, I just wanted to show you guys where I was before I order and forget. Um, so I come to Panini Kebab Grill all the time. Um, I pretty much always order the same thing. Um, I've got all this Diet Coke and I always get the hummus and breads. Um, and I then get the chicken sheesh, but instead of getting rice, I get double salad. Um, and so basically I have the breads and hummus as my carbs rather than having rice with my chicken because I just actually enjoy the breads more. This is another new bit of bodies cropped hoodie and these sweats which are so cute um, but I had to fold them over because they're too big for my waist but my bread from this it's like regular hummus, edamame hummus and black bean hummus I'm pretty sure. Uh, it was a beautiful looking salad with um, this amazing marinated chicken there's only one bit left now um, and this is all the roast tomato and roast onion which they kind of flavor the meat but I don't really like cooked tomato or I don't really like onion either um, so I usually don't actually eat those parts which is kind of a waste I should probably tell them not to uh, use them but I think they skewer the chicken out when it's cooked on the skewers with them so I should look into that but it's delicious and I'm getting pretty full but I'm going to give it maybe a sniffer and then I'm going to go to Whole Foods. I wanted to um, show you some of the New Zealand stuff that I brought back to America. Um, I wasn't going to film this right now and I'm just impromptuing it um, but I want to eat one of these before I go to the gym so I want to show you them before they're all gone. Uh, so I thought I'd better do it now. Um, so, one of the things um, that I brought back with me and that I love in New Zealand is Justine's protein cookies. Um, now, I've talked a lot about like protein bars, the ones that are actually good in terms of the macros. Um, these are like a clean, good, like the macros are actually good in terms of a protein cookie. Uh, 16.8 grams of protein, 6.9 grams of fiber, 1.9 grams of carbs, no added sugar, wheat and gluten free. Um, they do contain like some fats, which you know, most of the time if they take away carbs, they, there's something else in it that's making it taste good. Um, but they are actually, like if you compare this to say, let's say a Lenny and Larry's cookie, like they taste pretty bomb, but the macros are horrific. Uh, like you could just eat like two huge normal cookies uh, and then have a protein shake um, but most people don't realize that and so these ones actually taste good and have good macros um, but I, I mean it's just kind of a coincidence that the macros are so good the reason I love Justine's cookies so much is because they are not dry like most protein cookies are really like dry these are not dry at all so they come in lots of flavors I've got peanut butter chocolate chip and I don't actually like peanut butter usually but it doesn't really taste very peanutty it's kind of nutty hard to explain but it's actually yeah it's good um, the chocolate chip is bomb they also have like a chocolate fudge uh, and maybe like double chocolate or something like that as well um, they are really good so that's what I want to eat before I go to the gym um, but I brought those back with me all press coffee, I banged on about this while I was in New Zealand, some of my videos. Uh, one of my clients, friends, clients and friend, um, her husband works for All Press, so she sent me back with some all 
Freeze plunger coffee. I don't own a plunger because uh, I usually get cold brew or use my Nespresso, but I'm definitely going to get a plunger for that. Um, these here are stevia sweetened. I'm going to hold it up and I'm just going to wait for my camera to focus. Come on, focus on that. See, I can't focus on me and the water drops. So that was just a very long way of figuring out how to do it. Um, but these water drops, now it's interesting, they contain no carbs and no sugar, but they um, actually say two kilojoules per serve. So in America, they can round everything down. So they would say that it's got zero calories. These are called Vital Zing water drops. They are sweetened with natural stevia extract. That's the thing that I like about these. They actually taste really good. A lot of the water drops that you get in America, they are artificially sweetened. Uh, or there's a couple uh, that I have found in America, but they almost taste like alcoholy. Um, yeah, so these are sweetened with stevia, so it's naturally sweetened. It's not zero calories, but it's almost zero calories and actually if they were these were on an American shelf they'd probably say zero calories because in America they can actually round down. Uh, pineapple, peach and mango are the flavours that I got. There's a couple of other flavours as well. I'm a fan of all of like those tropically ones. Mango is really really good. That's my favourite. Uh, so those are like some kind of like essential things that I brought back with me from New Zealand that I can't get here or I like better than say an alternative here. Also, I had a request for some New Zealand confectionery and I just wanted to show you what I bought because Tim Tams, uh, can't in multiple flavors, but Tim Tams are very like famous New Zealand and Australia. You've probably heard people talk about them. I don't even like them. It's like a chocolate biscuit, although they come in all different flavors. So this is, chocolate hazelnut and gooey caramel and <laughs> see me screwing my face up and this is chocolate malt and sticky caramel flavor and I think that if you love Tim Tams or well, if you love chocolate biscuits these would be incredible I don't like them but hopefully they find themselves in the I was gonna say in the arms but in the mouth of someone who loves them so Tim Tams are all the rage you hear people talking about them from New Zealand or Australia uh, and, and other things, Cadbury chocolate. Cadbury chocolate is made in New Zealand. And this is a cream egg flavor. So they often, like they collab with a lot of other, you know, so obviously they've collabed with cream egg. And that is in cream egg milk chocolate. So when I distribute these treats, I will give you feedback if I can gather such feedback. Uh, and Whitaker's chocolate is also uh, New Zealand creation made in New Zealand and it's I'm not a huge chocolate fan but if I had to eat chocolate Whitaker's creamy milk would be the chocolate I would eat although I actually found um, some sugar-free chocolate in New Zealand and I didn't bring any back well I did but I ate it on the airplane <laughs> that actually tastes like Whitaker's creamy milk I should actually find out which brand it is and I will share that with you in future obviously I can't get it here but yeah, it tastes like Whitaker's cream milk, which is why I like it, but it's got no sugar added. Anyway, so those are just some random New Zealand things that I brought back with me, and I wanted to share them with you. Now that I've done this video and the obligation is out of the way, I'm going to eat one of these Justine's cookies, and I am going to go and hit the gym. And I will do my rundown on my Whole Foods and grocery shop at some point soon.